Now, the news for South Mississippi. WLOX News at 6. The debate over a cell phone pits a Gaucher dad against the Pascagoula School District. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rebecca Powers. Jeff is off tonight. A Gaucher man sued the Pascagoula School District after his son's cell phone was seized during class. Well, today he fought his case in Jackson County Justice Court. Assignment Education reporter Train Fan Bowie tonight joins us with the latest in this legal battle, Train. Mark Miller's son attends Gaucher High School. Miller argued the school should have returned the phone to him after it was confiscated, but the superintendent said no because the student violated district policy. After a brief hearing today, the judge dismissed the case, but Miller's fight is not over yet. Uh, but I'm disappointed. Uh, uh, I thought our justice system would look at things and have a little more common sense as to what's right or wrong. That was Mark Miller's reaction after a Jackson County Justice Court judge dismissed his case against the Pascagoula School District. Back in February, Miller's 16-year-old son, Paul, was in class at Gaucher High when his phone went off. After the teacher seized the phone, Miller appealed to the school, the superintendent, and the school board, but lost at all levels. We have a policy in the Pascagoula School District that cell phones are prohibited on campus during the instructional day. And whenever a phone goes off in class, those phones are confiscated for the remainder of the school year. Superintendent Wayne Rodolfich says the strict policy was designed to prevent class disruptions and for students' safety. Because we have to protect instructional time within our classrooms. We have to protect children from sexting. We have to protect children from uh, taking pictures of other children, bullying with these phones cheating in class with these phones. I was very upset. I said, I wrote a letter back saying it's not my son's phone, it's my phone. But I argue it's, it is theft because they're keeping it too long. The only question is how long it is too long. Miller wanted the district to reimburse him the amount he paid to replace the phone and the case. And they're basically bullying me by taking my phone costing me $900. That's not right. The, the child's the one that did something wrong instead of me being mad at the child, I'm mad at the district. Because of this case, Miller has formed a citizens group hoping to convince the board to change the policy. He says cell phones should be allowed on campus, but they should be turned off. And he says if these phones are seized, they should be given back to the parents at the end of the school day. Plus, he says there are other ways to discipline students who break the rules. We need to band together. Parents need to not be scared to stand up for what's right. Now, Miller has not yet decided whether he'll appeal this case. Meanwhile, his group has of those dollars on various projects over the years. A go shame in lost his case today against the Pascagoula School District. You see, the legal dispute centered on a cell phone. Mark Miller's 16-year-old son had to give up his cell phone. After it went off in class one day at Gaucher High, Miller lost all of his appeals at the district level, so he sued them. Miller wanted that phone back, and he wanted to be reimbursed for nearly $900, the cost of replacing it. However, the superintendent says district policy states the student's cell phones are banned from campus, and any phone seized will be returned at the end of the school year. After a brief hearing, a Jackson County Justice Court judge dismissed the case. My reaction is that I want children to abide by what the rule says, and we're going to continue to follow the rule. And at the conclusion of the year, we review our handbook policies to determine what changes may be made. Doing this kind of thing is not making the school any safer. All they're doing is bullying the parents and, and uh, costing us money. It's, it's not right. And Mr. Miller formed a citizens group because of this, hoping to convince the school board to change what he calls an outdated policy. He wants the district to allow cell phones on campus, but they have to be put away and turned off. He says if the phones are seized, they should be returned to the parents at the end of the school day, not the